Hi, I'm Dr. Barbara Abernathy. I'm the CEO of the Pediatric Oncology Support Team. We're a local 501c3 organization, and our mission is to help local children and their families fight cancer courageously by giving them compassionate emotional and financial support. And the only way that we can do that is with great community partners. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about some of the kids and families that we serve. Um, first, when the kids are diagnosed, uh, they'll get their own chemo duck. And chemo duck is awesome because chemo duck has a port just like the kids. Um, so the kids can uh, bring this into treatment. They can take it home, give it a name. And it helps us to make cancer just a little bit less scary and more manageable for the children. So they love their chemo duck. Um, ultimately, though, we walk with families through cancer. We're there with them from the moment of diagnosis. We're there with them for every clinic appointment, every hospital appointment, no matter where their journey takes them. And for some of them, it, it is years. Uh, for childhood leukemia, for example, for the most common type of childhood cancer, uh, the treatment is three and a half to four years. For kids with bone cancer or brain tumors, literally years. And we get to know them and um, we really walk with them and we really get to know them. And with every community partner that we have, you're right here. You're right here on my shoulder as I'm sitting and I'm talking with that family and I'm holding their hand, you're holding my hand. So I want to... Um, our goal is to make these kids warriors. Our goal is to get them into like fighting mode, right? To get them to show their fighting spirit, to get them to realize that cancer is not the end of their story. Cancer doesn't define them. Cancer is something that they're gonna fight and that we're gonna help them beat. And they come in there and these kids, like they've got amazing fighting spirit and they could teach us some some things and, and show us some stories. Um, I've been at Post for 24 years. We've been around helping families for that long and we've helped more than 2,200 families and we give uh, food to families because a, one of the parents is gonna have to quit work to take care of the family and families go from being financially stable, maybe marginally, probably not comfortable, but all of a sudden, boom, they're struggling and they can't put food on the table and they're worried about, do I pay for food or medication? They don't have to worry about that because we're gonna help them. We give them gas cards so they can get their child back and forth to treatment. But mostly, we're there. We're there 100%, we're one phone call away. And because cancer doesn't just happen between eight and 4.30, we're on call. 24 seven, 365 days a year, we're on call. We get called in to help families, to support them, to be in the hospital with them if they're going through a difficult thing. Unfortunately, we also have the, the sad side. Um, some of our kids have shorter journeys than, than um, we want. And we also train hospice physicians in how to take care of uh, young patients like ours. But uh, we get to do social events and outings with the kids, and we do a big holiday party uh, with Santa and snow, and the kids come out and they, they have a great time, and we get them together and create a sense of community, which is so important because cancer is so very isolating. And for those of you who have been through cancer yourselves, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you have a loved one who's been through cancer, you already know what that feels like. So, if you have had cancer yourself, you already know that. You already know how isolating and lonely that experience is. Or if you have a loved one who has gone through that, then you know. So we're here to make that journey less lonely for the families, less isolating, and to create a sense of community by doing the, uh, the events and activities that we do, and really bringing them together. Um, so I, one of our, our families, um, as a way of, of thanking, the, um, did, the dad did this. He's extremely talented, and he just wanted to say thank you. He wanted to say thank you to Post, and he wanted to say thank you to everyone in the community who makes this possible. The only way that I can do what I do is by feeling your hand on my shoulder or your hand in my hand so that I can have their hand in my hand. Thank you so much, Ibis. Thank you for what you do. We literally could not do what we do without you doing what you do. 
Thank you so much from my heart to yours.